Alrighty. So this is going to be a reading for my Virgos. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel. This is going to be a forecast for April 15th through the 31st. Okay, this is going to be a what you're not expecting to happen forecast. Okay, so understand this is not a reading surrounding negativity. Uh, what you're not expecting to happen could be something positive. It could be something, you know, not so positive, but that's life. Okay. So keep in mind, this is general. Don't take everything super, super personal. If you know, it's not your situation. And just because this is a collective energy reading, don't watch a whole bunch of these and get yourself confused. Okay. Get a personal reading so you can go ahead and clear up those questions for you. Okay. And if you're interested in getting one with me specifically, um, I have a five question reading going on for 2222. That cell is extended still because, you know, a lot is going on. Okay. So check that out. My link will be listed below with all my other links. You just click it and it will take you to my website. Okay. So let's see. Virgos for April 15th through the 31st. Okay, and if anybody wants to know what deck this is, this is my Free Thinkers Oracle deck. I've actually created this one. Uh, it will be restocked after all this is done, okay? Every time I restock it, you guys buy it all the second I actually stock it. Um, if you're signing up for my email newsletters, uh, you'll get notified when it drops again. Okay, so, all right, we have Rite of Passage, Soul Tribe, New Horizons, vision and the soulmates card that came out so right off the bat what you may not be expecting to happen there's going to be a lot of transformational stuff that are that that is going to come up okay especially with the rite of passage card being the first one this card is like things boiling like a volcano it's like yes there's a whole bunch of pent-up energy uh in the volcano all that pent-up lava and it's ready to explode and through that explosion it's creating a new circumstance so for a lot of my virgos i'm seeing a situation where some things are going to make you pretty mad during this time frame okay this may be things that your family members may be doing this may be certain perceptions you don't agree with certain things that you're like well what the heck is this person doing okay especially if this is about a spouse but through this anger it's going to be transformation that is stirring okay below the surface this may even be in regards to some connections you have around you um on a friendship level okay some of you you may also feel like somebody who you call your friend may kind of be trying to stab you in your back or sting you in a way where you know you you just will not be able to trust this individual again some of you also, you're realizing that if you are the type of person to do things in, what is it, like a collective, like you have like outside creative collective thing that you do, you may be realizing that it's time for you to go on newer heights or a newer direct, direction for yourself because some of you may be working harder than your collective. And you may be realizing that, hey, maybe I'm being dragged down if these people are not willing to put in the same work, especially if this is a business idea, a uh, group, what have you. Some of you also, you will be, like I said, pushed into new directions. And this is through having a clear vision after being kind of clouded for some time as far as your understanding is concerned. You guys are really going to come to a space of understanding and seeing things for what it is. Okay. And for a lot of you, this is in regards to other people, but also your own path and how you need to be in alignment with yourself first and really dig deep within yourself before you can really have a divine partner in your life and it work out and be stable. Okay. All right. So let's pull some cards from here. Let, let's see what else is going on. Virgos for April 15th through the 31st, please. Virgos. 
April 15th through the 31st. Let's see. So to further look into this, what you may not also be expecting to happen, you may have a fire sign in your life who is, like I said, on and off in your life that's still going to be very inconsistent. A fire sign, I'm also seeing a water sign specifically. Really and truly, it doesn't matter the signs, okay? But I'm seeing someone who is just very inconsistent in your life. And you may be realizing it's due to the fact that somebody is just not dependable anymore. Um, this may be somebody who you've felt like for some time has already, you know, been that individual that is not someone who you can really trust. But now you're really starting to see it. And for a lot of you with the king of cups here this is somebody who you held in a high regard emotionally but yeah if this is an ex you guys are really about to get over the situation because you're going to realize this person is either not here for it anymore and you guys are going to just be like look I, i'm not going to waste my time anymore yeah, some of you, okay, if you try to make an advance towards, specifically, I'm saying this, if you try to make an advance towards an earth sign, specifically, this person is not going to be here for it. Uh, they may kind of brush the offer off. So be careful of trying to go back because that person is really not in the space emotionally to really open up and try to fix things right now. Some of you, you also may be having issues with being consistent in your energy as far as work is concerned, and that may be affecting your finances, especially if you're an entrepreneur, you're going to really have some days where it's like, you're not really energetic, you're not here for certain things. Um, you may also get kind of excited for a certain new idea that you may take up, but then you may be inconsistent with it because you may be allowing the situations around you, especially what's going on in the world to kind of throw you off kilter. So make sure you don't allow that to happen as well. Let's see what else is going on. Virgos for April 15 through the 31st. What's going on with their love life? What are they not expecting to happen? My Virgos. Wait, oh, I pulled way too many cards. Okay, so looking further, like I said, some of you, if you did end on bad terms with someone specifically, you guys may want to fix things. Some of you may want to fix things, but this person is in a space where they're trying to clear their energy. Okay. For others of you, it's vice versa where you're trying to clear your energy and you don't really want nothing to do with this individual. But I, I'm really seeing where somebody needs to actually keep an open mind for this to work. But I do see somebody trying to t make an advance towards the other individual and somebody's not really going to be here for that. Somebody's going to be very defensive and might even act a little childish. And they may even still want you, but they're going to put up a tough fight. So if this is an individual that has always been stubborn <laughs> during this time frame, this person is going to continue to be stubborn. Don't expect anything less than that. Okay. All right. So let's actually pull one last card. Let's look at what this deck says for your finances and your career. Um, what are some things that my Virgos are not expecting to happen that may take place in their finances or their career, um, during the second half of April? What are they not expecting to happen? Okay. I'm going to take both. 
So first card says, let go of guilt. It says, when you allow your light to shine brightly, you inspire others. Forgive yourself for what you think you've done or not done and trust that God loves you unconditionally for who you are. Love and grow from your past mistakes instead of beating yourself up for them. Yeah, during this time frame, you guys may have a period of also going back and forth about things that you didn't invest yourself into in the past as well. Try to stay away from that because that's not going to help you. Think of ways that you can now in this present moment, because we have to be present in the now instead of in the past, because every day is a new day. You have to find ways to actually put yourself out there and manifest those opportunities, okay? You have to learn from your mistakes, not dwell in them, okay? We also have bountiful nature. And this is spending time in nature helps you shift to a higher vibration and reminds you of God's infinite abundance. Go outside and enjoy a walk or hike with your pet. Meditate beneath a tree, garden, um, sit under the stars or do some activities to connect with the limitless vastness. For a lot of you, you may get more in touch with things that you always may have wanted to do, whether that is getting more in touch with your health, whether that is going out into nature more, you may be more inclined to take walks with everything that's going on in the world and you being home, you may be into that. You may also have to get kind of creative when it comes to exercising or, you know, shaking that negativity off as well. Um, but I'm definitely seeing a situation where some of you are really just going to go into a space of trying to collect your thoughts and get to a place of clarity. That's really what I'm seeing. You guys are going to get the understanding you need. Okay. Whether you like it or not. But thank you, Virgo, so much for watching this. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please make sure you thumbs up this video. It helps get it out into the algorithm and send it to anybody who needs to see it. Okay, so please thumbs up. Make sure you drop some butterflies if you did enjoy this reading um, or if it did help you. Again, take advantage of the 2222 um reading five question reading that link will be listed below i have some awesome links in there as well for my pick a card channel if you like pick a cards um my business channel uh everything you need to reach me okay my social medias all that stuff check that out and i will see you in the next one